China is the world's largest auto market, one of the largest for Uber, by the way. Next week, the Beijing Auto Show gets underway, and one thing that will be of major interest, self-driving cars. Eunice Yoon bravely takes us for a ride in a driverless car in Beijing. With so many first-time drivers in China, seeing something unusual on the roads isn't uncommon. But nothing quite like this. Chinese car maker Chang'an is testing out its new driverless car, the Rayton, traveling from the southwestern city of Chongqing to the capital, Beijing. The 2,000-kilometer or 1,200-mile-long journey is the latest effort by a Chinese company to outmaneuver Google and other foreign rivals in self-driving car technology. Google's car can do a lot, lot more, but they are doing research. Google's approach needs more time. For us, we can let the consumer to try the vehicle fast. Chang'an is one of a growing number of Chinese companies joining the global race to design an autonomous auto. The partner of Ford in China has created two models, one for cities and another that becomes self-driving on the highway. For now, both cars need a driver as a backup to navigate trickier traffic conditions. If the driver wants to change lanes, he either uh, give a voice command or he can just use the 10 signal. The vehicle will check the surrounding area. On this trip, the vehicle switched lanes, made three-point turns on their own, and clock speeds of 120 kilometers an hour. Exercises to help engineers work out the kinks before Chang'an sells the cars as early as 2018. The push for self-driving cars is part of a broader state initiative for China to become a leader in IT. The Chinese government kind of uh, encourage Chinese companies to invest more in product development, research. It's good for the company, good for our consumer, good for the country. Good for Chang'an's efforts to develop a technology it sees as essential to pulling ahead in the global auto industry. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eunice Yoon in Beijing.